on the Caymans out to Honolulu. The living rhythm is reaching out to you. What does the Bible say about when you're depressed or feeling alone or scared? Could you read that for me, Elise? Um, this is Isaiah 61 3. Um, it says, God will provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Okay, so this this verse, I actually learned this verse from the old King James um, as a song. And we used to sing, put on a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Okay, whenever your spirit is heavy or you're down, you know, it means like when you're really feeling low. Isn't there a song? Yeah, we sing that song. Yeah. Put on a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. And then what are we supposed to do? Lift up our voice to who? God. To God. It says, praise with the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Now, what's it mean to magnify the Lord? When you magnify something with a magnifying glass, what are you doing? Making them bigger. Yeah, you're making it bigger. You're looking through the magnifying glass so you can broaden, broaden the perspective of it. You see more details about it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, man, I, I loved having a magnifying glass that I could go out and just look at bugs. And they, you know, they don't look like much when they're down there and on the you know ground, but you get down there and you got a good old magnifying glass and then... All of a sudden, you see all these little details about how they're joined together and everything. It's like, man, these are cool. Well, when you magnify something, it helps you gain understanding because you see more of the, of the details of it. The Bible teaches us magnify the Lord. Okay, in other words, put your, your magnifying glass towards Him. Here's the problem. When people are depressed, when their spirit is heavy, they're really down. There is a biblical solution what you can do. And that solution is start praising. Start praising the one who made you. So there's a spiritual antidote to feeling depressed, and that is simply praising the Lord. From the Caymans out to Honolulu, the living